Hey everyone. Hey, hey, hey. So this is going to be a little late night rant slash live. And it's going to be about something I've seen floating around the internet today. I don't know why I got all of these content requests or just I was shown content about uh, reverse, reverse racism and reverse sexism, right? And those conversations always make me just like, ugh, so bothered because people just completely ignore the role, power structures, social hierarchy and institutions in all of it, right? In social inequalities and social inequities. They just ignore institutions. They ignore inequality. I mean, it's just, yes, yes. Like a person of color can be prejudiced towards a white person, but does that person of color have any power to prevent that white person from accessing healthcare or housing or education or being able to participate uh, in the political sphere. No, they don't. They don't have any type of institutions in place to prevent white people from accessing the things that they need. But you can't say that on the other hand, like white people have institutionalized tools to prevent people of color from accessing housing and healthcare and education and, and, and quality food, right? And it goes with the same, it, it's the same thing with sexism. So I, I brought up some stats uh, from the United Nations, and I really want you to think about this now. <sighs> the United Nations has a goal of gender equal, promoting gender equality. So I want to show you this. So they have 17 just overall goals. Uh, you you see right here, um, there's number one is, <laughs> thanks, Home Record TV. <laughs> Thank you, Home Record TV. You're very kind. Okay. Um, so the United Nations has 17 goals. I'm just going to name the top eight since those are the ones that are shown here. Um, so there's no poverty, zero hunger, good health and well-being, quality education. Gender equality is number five. It's pretty high on the list, right? Out of 17. It's five out of 17. Clean water and sanitation and affordable clean energy and decent work and economic growth. Okay. Now, when we look at gender equality, it, it, it's, it doesn't talk about how they're trying to help men out of large scale global subjugation. That's not one of their goals because on a large global scale, males are not subjugated. There are not global laws justifying raping men. There are not, you know, there aren't any global laws uh, claiming that women must sign off of <laughs> home record. Thank you. <laughs> You're very kind. Okay. There aren't any global laws talking about how wives must first give consent before men can get a vasectomy or before men can uh, choose whether or not they want to reproduce. But the inverse exists. Like there are laws that say, you know, men, even in America, there are laws that says, that say like a husband has to sign on, sign off a piece of paper before a woman can get her tubes tied or before a woman can see a doctor about certain reproductive uh, treatments or procedures she'd like to pursue. Right. And this just doesn't exist for men. So Anytime you hear it, I just, I just feel like anytime a man sits there and he cries like, oh, women can be sexist too. And I'm like, where, where? It's like, when have women on a large global scale, when have they prevented men from being able to choose how they'd like to reproduce or how they'd like to use their body? Where are the laws? Where are the policies? Where's the evidence of this sexism against men? Where is it? Because we have, I mean, like, I I prepared a lot of material um, for this particular video on this particular live, okay? Um, and 
there's an abundance of hardcore evidence about how women are globally subjugated, but there is no evidence on how men suffer from the same thing at the hands of women, nothing. So anytime I hear a man talk about, oh, women can be sexist too, women have privilege. And I'm like, but compared to you, why are you complaining? I just feel like the equivalent of a man complaining about a woman's uh, privilege or a woman's ability to be sexist is like me complaining about the poor defenseless immigrant children that are held in cages right now at the border. Like, it's like me saying, oh, those immigrants, they get everything. They just, so, they just take up all the jobs. And there's no evidence to back that up. That is absolutely not true. Or me saying, oh man, everybody just cares about those immigrant children. Like, uh, like I sound ridiculous saying that because as an American citizen, I have huge amount you know, uh, an insane amount of privilege due to my status as an American citizen, honestly. You know, and I can't I can't sit here and be like, oh, yeah, I have white privilege. Like I have white supremacy backing up. I can't sit here and be like, oh, I have. Um, like, page, you know, I have patriarchy backing me up. I have male privilege. I can't say I have male privilege and I can't say I have white privilege, but I definitely have American privilege. The fact that my passport lets me into the vast majority of countries in the world. And not everybody with a passport can say that outside of the United States. So I, I just I just find it really disturbing when men talk about how women can be sexist. And it's like nowhere in the world do you see male bodies being regulated. Nowhere in the world do you see people talking about how we should get a, a birth control pill for men or how men have to get their wives to sign a form before they can <laughs> remove their reproductive capabilities with a vasectomy. Like you don't, you don't see that anywhere, like at all. <laughs> and then I'm not even, we're just talking about controlling male versus male bodies. I'm not, I haven't even started to talk about violence. Right. And I'm, I'm going to get into it. Homewrecker, you really out here tonight supporting. I appreciate that. <laughs> all right. So, Let's get into this. Let me read some of this stuff. It says the pandemic has also led to a steep increase in violence against women and girls with lockdown measures in place. Many women are trapped at home with their abusers, struggling to access services that are suffering from cuts and restrictions. Okay. Okay, so despite the gains the United Nations have been able to achieve with promoting gender equality and empowering girls and women, they say many challenges remain, discriminatory laws and social norms remain pervasive, women continue to be underrepresented at all levels of political leadership, and one in five women and girls between the ages of 15 and 49 report experiencing physical or sexual violence by an intimate partner within a 12 month period, 20%, one in five. I mean, you can't say the same thing about men, right? So here's some more, here's another infographic. 20, only 28% of all managerial positions were worldwide are held by women. It's just so much, man. And it's like, it's just like, where is the equivalent for men? That's the real question. You know, where is the equivalent? If, if women can also be sexist, like where are the large amount of men being abused by their female partners? Where are you know, in which country are, are males underrepresented in the political sphere? Like where? What, what, where is the evidence of, of women be actually being able to subjugate men? 
because people love to say women can be sexist too, but it's like, how? Please explain to me how, because there's a lot of evidence about how men can be sexist, preventing women from getting education all over the world, honor killings. There are women that have been killed for refusing a man's sexual advantage, like advances. You understand? Like, do you, do you understand this? Like women, there are men who are hitting on women, going up to women they don't know, trying to talk to them, trying to get sex out of the women. The women are like, no, thank you. Bam, killed. Where does that happen to men? Where do you see women make sexual advances at men? And then when men reject the women, the men, the women kill the men. Where, where, where is that? Please, someone provide the evidence. I don't understand. This is why when men complain about how women can be sexist too, it's it's insane to me. Like I don't, I it blows my mind. Oh boo hoo, oh boo to who that a woman said she doesn't like men. At least that didn't result in physical in injury for you or death. Because there are plenty of men in this world who say they don't like women and then they actually go out and kill the women, often with impunity. A lot of times these men don't get in trouble, especially in the countries where honor killings are acceptable. You have a woman's own father, own cousin, own brother, own nephew will take her life if she gets raped or if she makes, or if she's thought to have some type of, if she's thought to having made some type of sexual choice, she will be killed. Where does that happen to men? Where are men killed for their sexual choices? Where? I lived in a country where honors, honor killings were very common. I lived in Jordan for several years. Honor killings were very common. Please, anyone, if, if women can really be sexist towards men, where does this happen to men? You know, where, where do men get killed for refusing a woman's advance? Where do men get killed for having premarital sex or, or for committing adultery? Where? Where do men get killed for that? Where in the world do they make laws around a male's reproductive abilities? Where in the world do they make laws saying, you know what, I'm sorry, sir, you can't get a vasectomy. Your wife has to sign off on this consent form. Where? Where do they require a man to get a signature from his wife before he can make a decision about his own body? Where? It's, I mean, it, it, it absolutely disgusts me to hear people say things like, women can be sexist too. Where? Where? You know what? Hold on. Let me see. There was another picture. Let me see if I can find it. It, it it really just like hold on. I have way too many tabs open. Okay, where is it? Is it this one? Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a picture. All right, here we go. It says right here, men hating women is far more common and dangerous than women hating men. Give me a break. Oh, y'all got hurt by some little words on a screen. Meanwhile, we literally have to navigate our lives to try to reduce harm to us done by men, save the tears. And this is my sentiment exactly. This is my sentiment exactly. Real sexism, is your ability to materially and, and, and physically reduce the quality of life of a certain gender. Not just the ability, but the, the willingness to engage in activity that will subjugate and reduce the quality of life of a certain gender. You understand what I'm saying? 
how can women be sexist against men? And any man who is really who really believes that women can be sexist against men, like you weak, man. Like you have literally all the advantage due to your maleness in this patriarchal world. And you're complaining about women not liking you. Like how weak can you be? How weak can you be? All right, I'm gonna go back to All right, here we go, right here. So here is a Tumblr called Women Who Refuse It. Shows you instances of women and circumstances of women who were harmed or killed for refusing or rejecting a man's sexual advantage. Ad advances. So um, a man stalks a middle school classmate for 17 years. He's given 26 years in prison. Man attacked ex-girlfriend with a hammer after she refused him. Okay. Brisbane. Where is Brisbane? Is that in Australia? I'm not sure. Drugged and raped after rejecting a boy. So it just shows you all these cases. <sighs> but how about this? So we all know of honor killings, right? There are, you know, they're starting to coin this term, which is uh, rejection killings. And they need to be tracked, this article claims. Two women were killed this week because they had the it, ter, whoa, temerity. I have never seen that word before. To say no to men. Tamara O'Neill, a doctor in Chicago's Mercy's Hospital was murdered by her former fiance, Dr. O'Neill had recently called off the engagement. Aisha Frazier was waiting for her divorce to be finalized when her estranged husband stabbed her to death. Frazier's eight and 11 year old daughters watched their mother die. Like, when do women do this? Thanks, homewrecker. When, I mean, when, when, when do women do this, man? Where are the cases about women uh, carrying out rejection killings on men? And here, the, the, another example is right here. A woman ignored a man's cat calls, so he chased her down and killed her, prosecutors say. Here's this lady right here, beautiful girl. She All she did was just ignore a man and she was killed for it. It says the 19 year old student at the University of Illinois at Chicago was at a professional fraternity event Saturday night and returned with a friend who parted ways. George walked alone to her white Kia in a parking garage, authorities said. She caught the attention of a stranger, Donald Thurman, who tried talking to her after she walked by, said James Murphy, the assistant state's attorney for Cook County. The defendant was angry that she was, that the defendant was angry that he was being ignored, Murphy said in a statement Tuesday. George's next moments, according to police, illustrate the nightmarish, harrowing reality that women can face on any given day, particularly with encountering a male, a man alone on a darkened street. Thurman 26 pursued George and closed in while he cat called her throughout the garage. Murphy said, she arrived at her car, but Thurman choked her from behind and dragged her into the car where he sexually assaulted her before fleeing in a distinctive white jacket, Murphy said, citing images on cat. Where does this happen to men? If women can be sexist towards men, wh where are the accounts? Where are the police reports? Where are the news reports of, of women killing a man? Because that man said, no, nah, I'm not interested. Killing a man because that man ignored a woman who was catcalling him. Where? <sighs> so.
So Homeworker says, it was only a couple of years ago, a high school kid got shot and killed. Oh, well, shot and killed a young girl because she turned him down for prom. Here's the thing, Homeworker. Like, it's like when when people claim that women can also be sexist against men, right? It truly takes away from understanding the reality, the risks and the danger of being a woman. Like we don't have the same issue. Like it's, it, 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 is, it, it is not a two way street. Like women and men, throughout society, like throughout the world, it just seems like it's like a global thing. Even the United Nations has initiatives on empowering women because everywhere, like throughout the whole world, you have males who try to subjugate women with laws, with force, with abuse. On a familial level, on a state level, on, on a church level, whatever, religious level, you know, like they try to subjugate women. Where do you see the same thing happening to men? Where? Please, someone give me an example. You know, I mean, like I'm, I'm, I'm willing to listen and people will say, oh, well, the laws aren't fair. When a woman divorces a man, that man usually has to pay child support and alimony. <sighs> you know, there's a lot of women paying alimony now too. But with that aside, especially if a woman gives birth to a man's children. Like she basically risked her life to do that. Plenty of women still die during childbirth. Plenty of women still die due to pregnancy complications. Even if a woman takes birth control, there are a lot of long-term health effects that come from taking birth control for women. And there's no similar internal birth control for men. So it's like they can't, you know. It's like, how can you compare having to pay money with having to risk your life? Because that's what the woman does. Like when a woman has a man's child, when a woman simply, if she even has sex with a man, she's risking her life because sex can often lead in pregnancy. Even if you do use birth control, and even if you do use birth control, there's a lot of long-term health problems associated with that. <sighs> Homeworker said that's horrible. But anyway, I may come back to this topic. Thank you, Homeworker, for your generous donations today. Thank you so much, I appreciate you. Um, but, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to this. I'm really tired, but I had to make this video before I went to bed because this this was like really bothering me like all day. You know, I saw like a really dumb a, a really dumb video comparing men to women as if they're like they have the same experience. You know, as if like yeah, you know, women can be women can be just as sexist. Men have to be careful too. But where where are the receipts? Where are the examples of men thinking, oh my gosh, okay, I have to carry pepper spray with me at all times because if a woman comes, where do men think that? Where where do men get afraid to walk to their car at night because of a, they're afraid that a woman is going to come out and strangle them or stab them or shoot them or rape them? Where? 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 Please. Someone tell me. Anyway, thank you guys for coming through. Thank you, Homeworker. 
And I'll talk to you lovely people later, okay? Just, I mean, and also like, if you could answer this question, where, where does this happen to men? Where do men fear for their lives because of women on a daily basis? You know? And here, look, look here at the bottom of this one, um, at the bottom of this infographic here, uh, it says, Women bear additional household burden, burdens during the pandemic. Women already spend about three times as many hours in unpaid domestic and care work as men. You know, I was having this conversation earlier today with a troll on my channel. He was so determined to prove to me that if he was, if he, if he were a husband, right, and he was going to be paying the bills, then the woman had to do all these seven jobs. Seven, just cook, clean, be a nanny, be a babysitter, be a sex worker for him, you know, be a financial advisor, investor, be a life coach and cheerleader for him. So he had to do all the all this work and he only had to do one job. And I'm like, well, why would a woman do this work for free for you? And you're not even paying her six figures when she could just be a nanny for six figures. Like nannies make six figures. If they are a great nanny, if they have a great resume, they make six figures. So <laughs> if you want to be a chef, if you're going to be a cook, why don't you just go apply to be a cook and get and women just get the money? Why why do men expect this domestic labor for free when there are people doing this domestic labor and they're getting paid well for it? You understand what I'm saying? There is no comparison. Like you have an institution like the United Nations fighting for the empowerment of women because that's how subjugated women are globally. If women were just as sexist, if women could be just as sexist as men, they would have initiatives for men as well. It wouldn't be gender specific. They'd be like, oh, we're trying to help every." No, 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 no. Across the board, no matter where you go, women are abused more often. Women are denied education more often. Women are forced to marry as a child more often. Women are trafficked, kidnapped, and sold into sex slavery way more often than men. So if women could be sexist as well, or you know what, not even could be. That's not even the question. The question isn't, can women be sexist? If women are sexist, why aren't they doing the same thing that men are doing to them? You know what? I don't know. Would it be so since like men claim that women can be sexist, like would it be an interest wouldn't it be an interesting idea to give the men something to complain about? Like, okay, you want to say women are sexist, okay. Wouldn't it be interesting if women band together and made these coalitions to suppress and subjugate men the same way? Then the men could actually, you know, back up what they were saying. They could actually say that women are sexist and it wouldn't be something out of their a-hole. It would be backed up by facts and reality. Because right now they're saying women are sexist and it's not backed up by any type of facts. Because I don't see any women killing men for rejecting a woman's advances. I don't see any woman killing a man for having premarital sex or committing adultery. I just don't see it. I mean, I don't see women writing laws trying to control male bodies. I don't see women can trying to write any laws, you know, trying to prevent men from gaining some type of education or working outside of the home. I don't see women trying to make men their slaves like men try to make women their domestic slaves. And it's so ingrained, right? Like, it's like, no, if you stay home and I take care of you, you have to do all of this work. And it's like, you could just do this. A woman could just do that work on her own outside of the house and make more money than you. Like, Instead of being a cook, a clean, a nanny, a babysitter, a surrogate for a man at home for free, 
Like she could just do all of those jobs or side gigs out without you and make more money than you. In America, of course, right? Or maybe other developed countries, but it's just a thought. I'm just rambling on now, so <sighs> I will go now.